Hey, good morning, everyone. It's your friend, your brother, Derek Day. And today, I want to start off with a little bit of Monday motivation, and I want to ask you a question. What is upholding you? And uh, Hebrews 1 and 3 tells us that all things are upheld by the word of God's power. You got to catch this because it's not the power of God's word, but the word of his power. And the word of his power is Jesus. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. In the beginning, from the foundation of time before start started, there was Jesus. And when the when God's word went forth and created all things, it was the word, which was Jesus, that created all things. All things were created for him, by him, uh, because of him. Everything exists because of Jesus. Now, watch this. What upholds you is really important because if you don't have something to support you, you will fall. If you don't have something to hold you up, you will fail. But the thing is, is that because Jesus is inside of us, and we recognize this because we become Christ conscious, we are upheld by the word of his power. Good morning, Frida. Thank you for joining. We are upheld. It's just like a suspension bridge is upheld by the cables that suspended between the piers. Uh, a, a building is upheld by the piles that undergird it. And frequently, like when you look at very tall buildings, they are supported by piles that are many stories into the ground. So there's something that upholds what is high and there's things that uphold that which is low. But here's the thing that we have to be upheld by something because if you're not upheld by something, you'll fall for anything. Amen. And if, and if you're, if, if something is not holding you up, then it's holding you back. So I choose to be upheld by the word of his power. It is the word of God that, that, that quickens something inside of me that, that basically, um, how can I say it? It activates or catalyzes the Holy Spirit inside of me that, that enables me to do the things that I do. It, it enables, it, it enables me to guard my thoughts. It enables me to govern my actions. It enables me to, to have answers to things that I probably ordinarily would not have answers to. So it is the word of God's power. And this is really important, everybody, because there are a lot of folks that say that you don't need the Bible anymore. And, and un honestly, I believe that you can get to the point where you can know enough scripture where you may not have to refer to the Bible as often as you like. But understand this, and, and I speak from this, uh, the standpoint of like a database administrator slash software engineer, that um, basically the Holy Spirit is the vastness of all the data in the universe. But data is no good to you if you don't have an index by which you can access it, because otherwise you're, you're, just, you're just mining for data, hoping that you'll get an answer. But if you have an index, an index will guide you directly to what you need when you need it. So the Bible is an index to access the data of the Holy Spirit. It is the index that allows us to access the wisdom of God. Are you with me? So it is the word of his power. So Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is the living word. But the printed word, the logos, is still important. Never, ever, ever, please, brothers and sisters, don't discount what, what has been written to you. And yes, you know, people say, yeah, well, man has manipulated the word and blah, blah, blah. And you know something? Every, <laughs> pretty much any text on earth has been manipulated by man. But do you think that for a moment that maybe God is wise enough to protect what is given to you to the degree that it will provide you with what you need? Do you think that God is at least that wise? <laughs> I mean, really? So it is the word of his power. It is what he says that manifests what he does. It is what he says that shows us 
who he is. It is what he says that upholds everything. Do you understand the, 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 the earth can't revolve around the sun? The sun can't travel through the universe. We don't have air. We don't have anything without the word of God's power. That word went forth. It created everything. It suspends everything. It upholds everything. And it upholds me. And it upholds you. Amen. So don't discount the word of his power. I'm Derek Day. God loves you and so do I. And I will talk to you later. Have a magnificent Monday.